the world is spinning around, but you want to have your mind centered right here. The world changes, but you want to have a part of your mind that doesn't change. This is how you find refuge. This is how you find security, because otherwise things just get thrown around and you don't know what's what. There are even people that call into question whether there is any dharma that you can hold on to as something that doesn't change. Well, that's a destructive idea. As the Buddha pointed out, the dharma he discovered was something that some he discovered. It wasn't something he made up. It wasn't particular to his time or place or his group of people. This is one of the reasons why Buddhism became the first world religion, i.e. the religion for everybody, not just for people of a tribe or a nation or a particular group. It's there for everybody, because it's true for everybody. You look inside your mind and you see, yes, there is suffering, as the Buddha said, some form or another. And if you look deeper, you figure out, okay, well, the worst part of the suffering is what you're doing to make yourself suffer from these things, because there are a lot of unpleasant things in the world outside. There's a lot of injustice. There's a lot of killing and stealing and other har harmful things. But the, the reason we suffer from these things is not from the fact that they're bad, but we have a certain way of dealing with them, of relating to them, and that's, that, that's what makes us suffer. And so we look into that, and we try to develop the qualities of mind that are needed to pull out those health habits. That's the path. And then suffering ends. These are things that are true for everybody who really looks into the issue of suffering with an eye to putting an end to it. And so it's available there for us, the end of suffering, total. There's a question of how much you want to take it on. Now that's something that may change. You may be more serious about it now or some other time. But you try to bring your mind in line with the fact that the, the Dharma, as the Buddha said, is timeless. And the more timeless you can make your practice, the closer you're going to get to that timelessness of the true Dharma, something that doesn't change, something that doesn't go up and down with the ups and downs of the world. So at the very least, try to find a still center inside, something to hold on to when things outside change. Because you can't guarantee that the changes will be good or bad, but you can guarantee that if your mind is well centered, you don't have to suffer as much from those things as you would otherwise. That's a step in the right direction. So try to develop this skill inside, because it's a skill that will hold true for you throughout time, whether you're young or old or whatever. It's something that will always be true, something you can always hold on to. So make sure that you have this skill, this knowledge down pat, and the other skills and knowledges you may gain about the world. Those are just dressing. This is the real heart of the matter. If we want to live this life as human beings, and we're born as human beings, we want to live this life as happy human beings, this is where it all begins. <laughs>